don't even know what a good intro to this video would be. I really don't know, but I have not made a video. What is that? I have not made a video in quite some time. And that is just simply because I don't have time. <laughs> Coming at your bare face, I look I look a mess, but please excuse that. <laughs> it's been an emotional time for me lately. Um <laughs> And that has been for one reason, and one reason only. And that is my weight loss journey has been dismal, unsuccessful, and really frustrating, <laughs> to say the least. Um, I have been trying to lose weight for about four years now. I just keep falling off the bandwagon. I don't know what what is wrong with me. <laughs> I don't know why I can't just be like those girls are like on the ball all the time and, and at the gym every day and sticking to it. That's my biggest problem is sticking to it. And I just don't know why. I just I want to lose this weight with all of my heart and there are so many reasons why it's not just because I want to be thin or I want to look good for Instagram no it's because I want to feel good about myself and I want to be healthy and I want to be able to go to the store and buy the cute clothes that I want to buy or I, you know and you know you know I because right now 90% of my wardrobe yes I am in my closet 90% of my wardrobe I don't fit into and nine times out of ten, I'm wearing leggings and a t-shirt or, you know, something stretchy. <laughs> and it makes me sad. Very, very sad. And I think about it every single day. It's always, always, always on my mind. Now, the moment goes by that I'm not thinking, God damn, bitch, you need to get it together. You need to get it together, you need to put the cookies down, you need to put the soda down, you need to put the, the junk food down and just get on the ball and do what needs to be done. I know that that's what needs to happen. I know I need to clean up my diet. I know I need to make sure that I'm being active and everything like that. But for some reason, they're just like this mental block that I have going on right now that I have, I guess it's a lack of self-control. <laughs> To, to put it simply, it's a lack of self-control because if I have access to junk food, I'm going to eat the junk food. You know, even if there's an apple sitting right next to the candy bar. I don't really eat. Actually, I don't really eat candy, but you know what I mean. Like, if there's an apple sitting right next to a cookie, I'm going to eat the cookie. Which I know is not, you know, some of you might be saying, well, it's a simple solution, just eat the apple. You know, but it's like it's literally a situation where I have to force myself to not eat the junk food or to not drink the soda and you can see these bags I know you see these bags that's for me crying so much about this because I just don't know how to remain motivated long enough to drop this weight and this is the heaviest I've ever been in my whole life and I look back on pictures of me when I was younger And I'm like, I don't look like that anymore. And it makes me really, really upset. Like, even right now, just looking at myself in the camera, I'm like, ugh, I don't even want to. Like, I don't, I don't like going, like, trying on clothes at the store because I don't like looking at myself. And I'm being so real with you guys right now. I hate looking at myself in the mirror. Or in a camera. So many things I used to love to do that I just don't anymore because I don't feel comfortable. And I don't feel like I'm myself. I feel like I've kind of lost myself now because of this weight problem that I have going on right now. And I know that that has to stop. I need to... I need to recognize the fact that... I'm at an unhealthy weight. 
and I need to get back to a place where I am healthy. And I'm not trying to make excuses. There are no excuses, it's just I'm lazy. That's just what it is, and I need to stop. I need to get it together. Um, it's, I'm, just, I'm just being real. It's just so hard when you have certain factors and certain people in your life who drain the energy out of you every single day. And it's just like, they make you feel... They make you feel so shitty about yourself. And they make you feel like you ain't shit because you don't look like Kim Kardashian. <laughs> and to those people I say, uh, fuck you. <laughs> but when you're around that kind of toxic energy every day, it's it becomes very difficult to want to do what needs to be done in order to lose the weight. My personal goal is to lose a total of 90 pounds. Because, I'm going to be real with you, I'm about 235 pounds right now. Of fat. Not muscle. Fat. <laughs> and that's not cute. And I'm not saying that, you know, the bigger girls, I'm not throwing shade I'm really not. I'm just saying, for me personally, I don't feel comfortable being at this weight. And I would like to get down to the weight I was at in high school, which was around 140. I have let myself go in the past four years. I It's obvious. You know, you can see i got a double chin going right now. This ain't cute. And I need to... I need to get together, but what I need is a big ass fire lit under my butt. That's what I need. I need m more of a reason, I guess, if that makes any sense, to drag my butt to the gym and work my butt off. I need not more of a reason, more of like a push, I would say. And a positive push, not a negative push where you're a fat bitch and you need to go to the gym. That's the kind of shit I hear every day. No, 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 not that. I need something positive. I don't need to kiss my ass. I, I mean positive, you know? And when I don't get the positivity and the encouragement that I need, it makes it really hard for me to push myself and uh, makes it really hard for me to want to do anything, to be quite honest. Um, I wish I could tell you guys more about what I'm talking about when I say the toxic energy, but I just don't want to put people on blast. I don't want to be... I just don't want to talk shit about the people that I'm talking about. I just... Just gonna keep those people anonymous because there's no point in me putting names on names. So, uh, names on names, what the fuck does that mean? But you know what I mean. What is that, dude? Ew. Ew. I thought there was a bug. There's a bug on my wall, and he's just not welcome to the party. I don't know why he's here. He just showed up unannounced. He's just chilling. Like, he's gotta go. Like, uh uh. Anyway. I just, I wanted to come on here and be really raw and be really real and vulnerable with you guys because I felt inspired to share this with you guys. And um, I hope that, no, not I hope, not I hope, I know that I'm going to get it together today. And I just need to have an exorbitant amount of patience. Because <laughs> this is not an overnight process. I need to have patience. I need to have confidence in my ability to put my mind to something and get it done. 
and I need to always focus on what I know is going to happen with me emotionally once I do lose this weight. And that is, I will feel so much better about myself. There will be such a, such a weight lifted off of my shoulders once this weight is gone. And I would just, it's, it's literally like there's a, this big black cloud that follows me around all the time that I can't get rid of because of this weight. And once the weight's gone, it's going to be sunshine and lollipops and smiles. And I just know that. And I, I, that's what I need to focus on. Be like, this is what I'm going to, I'm going to feel so good about myself once this is over, once the weight's gone, I'm going to feel so much better. Because I know, I know that's what's going to happen. I know I'm going to feel amazing once this weight is gone. I just need to push myself. And on some days I might have to drag my ass out of bed and say, bitch, at least take a walk. <laughs> uh, so uh, if any of you have any uh, advice, that would be great. Uh, if you've been successful in weight loss or anything like that in your past or whatever, or you're currently on the journey, um, I would love to hear from you uh, in the comment section or uh, whatever. You can follow me on Instagram or hit me up on Instagram, whatever it is. Um, I just wanted to come on here and share that with you guys because I needed to get it off my chest. Uh, been talking for like 11 minutes now, so that's cool. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will also do my best to be more active on YouTube. Because I definitely need to get it together with that. Um, but thank you for watching. Thank you so much. Uh, take a moment to hit the like button, subscribe button, and follow me on Instagram. Everything will be linked down below. I love you guys. And I will see you in the next video. Bye. Oh, camera fell.